Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to cover Monkey and getting Monkey set up through MDS. This is a very uh, low level version of Monkey. I would suggest using this if all of your devices stay on the same subnet and do not travel out of your office or school or, um, or specific location. Um, so we're going to set up like I said, monkey within MDS and allow MDS to handle the web server and um, creating the package to install it. So we'll go through that process, get things set up, and then I will we'll set up a quote unquote new machine in VirtualBox with MDS um, going ahead and giving us all the things that we need to set up that machine. So off the bat, when we open MDS, we need to create an SSL cert. Um, this is so that the devices that connect to our web server trust the uh, validity of this um, monkey instance. So we'll go ahead and create the certificate, leave it as the host name. Um, they must match. So if you don't like what it's called, we can go ahead a little quick tweak it and we'll go open terminal and we'll do a sudo scutil uh, double dash set computer name and I'll just name it um, ft dash monkey and then type in your admin password and then if I hit up on the keyboard I can get that last command and now I can tweak it to do local host name and then and that was a return and then back and we can get rid of the local and just do host name perfect and now I can go back in here and just change that out to ft dash monkey and that is the same now host name if we quit out of terminal and open it back up you can see it's local admin at ft-monkey. So we're good on our host name. We'll go ahead and create a self-signed certificate with the DNS name of ft-monkey, valid for 820 days. You may make that less if you'd like, but I would not as this probably is going to outlast this monkey server and you can create a new certificate on your next machine. So we'll go ahead and create type in your admin password, install the helper, and you can see now we've got the certificate and private key created in our user local admin library application support, and then Mac deploy sticker MDS slash TLS folder. So it's been added to our system keychain and trusted by the machine. So we're good to move forward, and what we're gonna do to move forward is go over to monkey and unlock it with our admin password. And we're gonna install Monkey within MDS. So it'll open up a web browser, bring us out to the Monkey GitHub. You can grab the latest release, which at this point, I don't know if this version of 5.1, I do know I was reading uh, Monkey 5.1 is set up for Big Sur. Yeah, the main focus is compatibility with Big Sur. Um, so we are good to download this. This will work, um, oh, what was it? It'll work a ways back, like 10.13, uh, 10.10. So um, we are good to download monkey 5.5.1 um, and get everything set up. So it'll work with Mojave, Catalina, and Big Sur when Big Sur comes out so you're not having to tweak anything at that point with Big Sur. So we'll go ahead and download the package and allow it. And then we can go ahead and run that package. It will likely require one, it's not an identified developer. Uh, the developer of Monkey, who is Greg Nagel, um, is, uh, is not signing them as he wants um, those that use it to sign it because most people tweak their monkey installers. So to open it up, we need to uh, either hold uh, option and click 
or what is it, control click and then choose open or two finger click or right click whatever whatever type of mouse or trackpad or whatever you're using them and go ahead and hit open and it'll be back here so we'll continue install install so this is going to restart the machine um, i'm doing a direct recording on this computer so i will catch you back after i've restarted the machine after the restart i got to reopen mds um, and we'll have it check for check automatically for updates that's fine so we're in monkey it's inactive but we have version 5.1.1.4112 um, we'll go ahead and create monkey repo create and we're good there and now all we have to do is turn it on and it's running we will see what happens here as you can see now a web service has started with putting out user local monkey repo with our SSL certificate over 4443. So let's get to the point where monkey is worth your while. So we'll get back into monkey. Um, that's all that it's got here. Uh, one benefit is it has tools and open monkey admin. Right now I don't have monkey admin, but like I said, this software is great. It will always bring you out to where you need to go. So we'll go ahead and install it. And we'll download the DMG. While we're waiting for this uh, to go ahead, I want to ask you if you could subscribe to the channel. I'm going to continue to do more monkey content uh, as well as um, Unify and other networking. Um, I have plans to do a Unify and PFSense build. Um, I'm hoping to get back into my channel more. And so if you could subscribe and help out the channel, go ahead and like this video and and, and tell your friends, tell other Mac admins or network admins that, that this is going on. Um, anything you can do to help out the channel would be great. Um, but back to our content, I dropped monkey admin into the applications folder. You could also drop it into utilities. I haven't tested utilities with MDS, um, but you'll know it's in utilities. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that and eject the DMG file and go back to MDS, tools, open monkey admin, and we can go ahead and open. And it is in the background here. And still, you can see it is empty. We have not added any packages to it. So there, there's many ways to go ahead and, and add packages to Monkey. Um, one option would be this machine doesn't have Chrome. So we'll go ahead and we'll go and download Google Chrome. And we'll download Chrome, accept and install, allow, and it gave us the DMG file. And what do we have but Chrome going to applications. So how in the heck do I get this into Monkey? Um, one option would be to take the DMG file, drag it on in, and save it as, however you would like. You can see it's putting it in our Monkey repo in a packages folder and this is where you can decide if you want to get a little more um, granular with your file structure so I like to add you know uh, browsers so create it'll drop it in a browsers folder and we'll hit save and it's going to create our plist folder for the package info file this is what monkey uses to determine its version number and a few other things you can go ahead and read all about monkey on the monkey github page so we'll hit save and now we have chrome and a version and it's in the testing catalog another quick cool thing i like to do is go into icon and batch extract icons because we only have one and we'll go ahead and extract it's going to mount the disk image yep so it succeeded and found an icon and already chose it for us. So we'll hit close and as you can see, we have an icon there. Um, this was kind of cumbersome to get Chrome in. And if you think it's not, um, you just wait till you have 
40, 50, 60 different applications that you have to push out to your devices. So let me show you a tool that kind of saves your bacon. And unfortunately, it's not currently in MDS, but that's all right. We'll go download it ourselves. I'll add this to the um, description down below, but I love Auto Packager. And if you haven't heard of Auto Packager, you're missing out. It is a, a system that will go ahead and download the latest updates to different applications. So let's download Auto Packager and I'll give you a quick overview of Auto Packager. If you want way more, um, I'd be happy to go over Auto Packager all on its own. So we'll get this installed a hot second. And again, it's an easy just drag into your applications folder. And we're done. Taking a hot second to copy. We'll eject it out and jump into applications and auto packager. Yes, we want to open and type in our admin password to install the helper. And you can have it either notify you or not. I like the notifications from auto packager as it lets you know when things get installed or you have errors in the process. So Auto Packager uh, has needs the monkey tools and then also needs Auto Package, which is Auto Packager is just a uh, a nice user interface to the command line Auto PKG. So we'll go ahead and install the command line Auto PKG. Depending on your internet connection, this could be really either really fast or really slow. Again, admin password and let it go ahead and do its installer. This is probably a good time for a quick cup of coffee or a quick sip of coffee. And as you can see, it'll quick look again and likely get a green light here. Yep, checking status, good there. And now we need Git because most of the repositories for auto package, auto packager are on GitHub. And so it needs Git to do a git pull and pull down all that information. And again, give it a little bit here. And there we go. So we have three green lights. You can set it up to launch Auto Packager at login. I like to, because I actually leave Auto Packager up almost all the time and put it on a schedule. But we'll do a quick um, overview here and we'll go into repos and recipes and we're gonna go ahead and just use the uh, default auto package recipes.git. It adds it um, doing whatever process it needs to in the background. And as you can see, we have different packages coming here. So one last piece before we add any recipes, I wanna jump into in integrations and make sure that everything is good over here. We're gonna leave these pieces alone uh, at this point in time, it's a little more advanced to go over the auto package folders. But what I want to do is I want to configure monkey tools and choose our monkey repo because currently it's going to go to user shared monkey repo. So we are going to go ahead and choose. And it is, if you do a command shift G, it is in user local monkey repo and go. So now we're there, we can go ahead and choose it. We want to enable the monkey set default catalog preprocessor and we'll hit save and close. The rest we don't need, but if you are running Jamf, you can install the JSS importer. I've used this tool in the past. It's worked great to uh, install um, software for patching. Uh, it does take a little bit more to configure, and I do not have a current Jamf setup, so we can't go through that. Um, the other piece that would be great is if you're running Simple MDM as your MDM. Simple MDM has Monkey in uh, in it in in the background. I have not used this this tool yet, but you're able to use Auto Packager and point it at Simple MDM and pull your applications into Simple MDM. So we'll go back to our repos and recipes. And sticking with our browsers, we'll choose Firefox. Now you can go ahead and choose Firefox download, which will just download the latest version of Firefox. 
which is not what we want. We want to find the dot monkey uh, recipes. So we'll go ahead and as you can see, you can get it signed, unsigned. We'll go ahead and choose the signed version. We'll check it and then we need to create an override. And that's basically saying, yep, I want this as part of my process. And now we have local monkey Firefox signed PKG and we'll just do a quick run recipes now. So what it's doing is it's using that recipe, um, which is, I'm gonna not uh, show you the recipe at this point. It's kind of out of the scope of this quick monkey video, which is actually taking quite a bit of time, but we're done. It's all set. All we have to do is jump back into monkey admin and first save all of our changes that we made to the Chrome uh, version and we'll hit reload. And as you can see, I now have Firefox. So we'll go ahead and uh, we want an icon, so we'll batch extract the icons. It already has Chrome, so we'll let it do Firefox. And it's skipping, it's got multiple icons found. So what do we do? We go back, we do icon, and we create new icon for name Firefox, and we'll extract. And you can choose whatever icon there you like. This is the default Firefox icon, so we'll go ahead and choose that and save and save it to the icons folder. And there we go, we've got a Firefox icon, we'll hit save. And the last little bit we need to do then is we're good here. We have our catalog for testing and we're gonna leave it just as testing because at this point all we are doing is testing. And here's our manifests and manifests are essentially what you use to state what a machine is or the machine name or what you want installed on the different machines. So site default is, as it states, it's whatever the default stuff you want um, before you know, the device finds its own manifest. So I want it to manage, install, and install Chrome. So by default, it's gonna install Chrome and we need to give it a catalog. So we're gonna give it testing. So we're good on all things manifest. We'll hit save. And now we need to get monkey installed on something. So we'll use MDS 